Learn with Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I see you are looking for something. Can I help you? Wow, Eddie, that's so cool. It's a fire truck and dying. But we'll have to build it. Do you want us to do it together? <laughs> so you tell me the order of the pieces and we'll assemble them, okay? <laughs> all right, Eddie. Here we go. Check out all of those pieces. There's the wheels, the driver cabin, the fire hose for putting out fires, the water tank, the siren, and the ladder for rescuing kittens. Ha <laughs> I think you're really gonna like this game. Let's see. Where do we begin, Eddie? <laughs> well done, Eddie. Let's begin with the wheels. Good job. Which piece do you think goes next, Eddie? Hmm. I think it's too soon to use this piece, Eddie. Should we try another one? I think this one will work. Let's see. Well done, Eddie. Congratulations. Ha ha ha. This is so much fun. Wanna keep playing? <laughs> You've picked the siren, Eddie. But where does it go? Fantastic, Eddie. That was a great idea. Let's see which piece goes next. Hmm. I think we need to use another piece before using the ladder or the hose. That's it, Eddie. This is the back of the lorry. I'm sure we'll be able to assemble the other pieces now. Now there are only two pieces left for you to finish building your fire engine, Eddie. You're doing great. <laughs> Well, Eddie, you can have the honor of assembling the last two pieces yourself. That's great, Eddie. Now the only thing left is the leather. Well done, Eddie. You're a true firefighter. Hi, Eddie. Today we're going to learn how to mix colors. <laughs> That's right, Eddie. That's what I feel these signs pipettes with different color liquids. And we will mix them to get a new color. Uh -huh. Very well, yeah, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Let's begin. Let's see, which liquid do you want to use first? <laughs> You're always thinking of food. You want to use the color red, right? Very well. Now we put the red liquid in the container. Perfect. And what color do you want to mix it with, Eddie? <laughs> Yellow. That's great, Eddie. I'm sure we'll create a new color by mixing this too. Check it out, Teddy! It's magic! By mixing red and yellow together, we got the color orange! Well done! Now pick out another two colors and we'll mix them, okay? Alright, Teddy! We'll use the color red again! Perfect! Blue! We'll use the color blue too! Perfect, Teddy! Let's see what the colors red and blue turn into! By mixing the colors red and blue together, we got the color purple. It's my favorite color, Eddie. This is great. I love this game. Well, let's do the last mixture. We pour a little bit of yellow liquid in the container. Here we go. And now we put this away. And now we add a little bit of blue. Perfect. And now it's time for the magic to happen. Check it out, Eddie. We got the color green by mixing the colors yellow and blue together. <laughs> well done, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I see you've discovered my magical juice machine. That's right, Eddie. Whoever drinks these juices changes color. Well, you will choose what food stuff you use first. Come on, Eddie, pick up the first one. You pick the blackberries. I'm sure the juice will be purple. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Press the button. Yeah, it's purple juice. Well, open your mouth and I'll give you the juice. Let's see what this magical juice does. <laughs> you look so handsome. You turned purple. This is the most fun game ever. No doubt about it. Very well, Eddie. Got it. This green key is going to the magical juice machine. Let's see what color juice comes out. It's green, just like the kibis. Come on, Eddie. Try the juice. Now you're green, Eddie. 
What do you say we mix two foodstuffs at once? Let's see what happens. <laughs> strawberries! Fantastic, Eddie! I love them! So, these red strawberries go into the juice machine. Come on, Eddie! Now pick another foodstuff. Let's peel the banana, then... And we throw the skin in the organic bin. And now we put the banana in the machine. Come on, Eddie! Press the button. Wow! Pink juice has come out! <laughs> now drink the juice, Eddie! You're pink, Eddie! <laughs> the magical juice machine is so much fun! <laughs> but it's time to go back to normal! So we'll use carrots that are the same color as Eddie and... Perfect! Good old Eddie is back! Hi, Eddie! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're looking at the planets in the universe, huh? Would you like to learn a little bit more about them? Come on then, let's go on a little trip! And what about you guys? Do you know any planets or stars? You can tell us in the comments and help Eddie in his adventure! But first, you have to dress for the occasion, Eddie! Can you guess what we're going to dress you up as today? <laughs> That's it, Daddy. We're going to dress you up as an astronaut. <laughs> Let's see what's in your good robe. <laughs> Let's begin with your feet. What kind of footwear should we put on? <laughs> I know that flip-flops are really comfy, but you can't wear those on a spaceship. You might trip. <laughs> These boots will be much safer. Okay, what else? What shoe do you wear on the rest of your body? Are you sure? It's really cold in the space, you know. You'll need a warm suit up there. That's it, Eddie. The suit will keep you warm in space. Isn't it comfortable? Let's see what else we have here. Perfect. What do you need for your head, Eddie? Well done! Thanks to this astronaut helmet, you will be able to breathe in space because it keeps oxygen inside. And for your hands. <laughs> Eddie, those princess gloves could look great on you. But don't you think it better to wear prototype gloves? <laughs> That's it, Eddie, the astronaut gloves. And now let's see the complete suit. Wow, Eddie, you look amazing. You're ready to go to infinity and beyond. Commander Eddie, the rocket is ready. Go to the launching pad. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Eddie? Get on. Ready for ignition? <laughs> I mean, you're ready for takeoff. Here we go. Hi, Eddie! Uh -huh. You've made a huge mess in the kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh -huh. We need to clean this up right away! Don't worry, Eddie! The first thing we have to do is put away in the fridge the food you haven't eaten. This way, it won't go bad! <laughs> Come on, help me out! Point out the food we can put away in the fridge! Uh -huh. But you've already eaten that fish, Eddie! You have to point out the food that you've taken out of the fridge but haven't eaten. That's it, Eddie! You haven't touched that sausage, so it goes in the fridge. Well done, Eddie! What else? Great! Let's put the uncooked fish in the fridge then. Don, you're missing one thing, Eddie! Ha ha ha, Eddie! Crips bag is not a food! Focus! Take your time! <laughs> That's it! This tomato that you haven't eaten goes in the fridge! Done! Now let's throw away the organic waste, that is, the leftover food! That's it! Now, where is the organic bin? Hahaha! <laughs> it's right in front of you! Come on! Let's throw the leftover food into the organic bin! Also the fish bone! And we put the bin back! In its place. Well done, Eddie. Let's see. 
Now let's throw away the wrappers and packages into the inorganic bin, okay? That's it! The crisps bag goes into the inorganic bin. The milk carton too. Now we just need to tidy up and do the washing up. Can you point out what we need to wash, Eddie? Well done, Eddie! Put the plate in the sink. All the cooking utensils too. That's it, Eddie! The frame pan too. Now that we have everything, we turn on the water, we get the scrubber, and let's scrub! Until clean. Then, we make sure to scrub the cooking utensils. Done. And finally, we will scrub the plate until we remove all the remains and leave it shiny. Done. And now, let's put it all away. Well done, Eddie. Do you remember where everything goes? Here we go then. Where the cooking utensils go? Great. In they go. Let's see. What else is left? Oh, the plate. Well, we're done, Eddie. We're cleaning out the kitchen. Don't tell me you're hungry again, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey, what's with the lab coat on the coat stand? Do you know who uses that kind of coat? That's right, Eddie. Doctors. Do you want to use it and play as being doctors? Let's try it on. Done. It looks great on you, Eddie. And what about you guys? What would you like to be when you grow up? You can tell us in the comments. Hang on, Eddie. In order to be a real doctor, you also need medical instruments. Do you know what those are? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find out together. Let's see. When you're caring for a patient, the first thing you have to check is their temperature. What could we use for that? <laughs> no, Eddie. Ice cubes are for lowering the temperature when it's too high. But first you have to measure it. <laughs> That's right, Eddie. You need a thermometer. Next, you will have to check and see if the patient's heart is beating properly. So we need to listen to the heartbeat, Eddie. But Eddie, the megaphone is for your voice. A person's heartbeat isn't that loud. We need a stethoscope. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not that hard. Instead, oh, scope. Got it? See, this part goes in your ears, and the other uh -huh. end goes over the heart. Let's see, what else is there? <laughs> okay, Eddie, if someone had a sore throat, we would have to check it. What would uh -huh. we use to hold down their tongue? <laughs> That's a bit much, Eddie. If we use those, we would pull out their tongue rather than hold it down. <laughs> That's it. The stick is better. But the throat is dark. We would need some torch to have a proper look at it. <laughs> well done, Eddie. The mirror will help us to see better. And to finish up... Do you remember when you went to the doctor's and she checked your reflexes by lightly hitting you in the knee? Well, we need a hammer to do that. <laughs> no, Eddie. <laughs> that's a claw hammer. It's best we use that one. It's made out of rubber and doesn't hurt when you use it. And finally, we need a small torch so that we can light up the darkest parts of the body. Don't worry, Eddie. It's only normal you can tell them apart. The kind of torches doctors use are long and thin. They look a lot like pens. See? Check it out. Oops. Sorry, Eddie. I didn't mean to blind you. <laughs> Here we go, Eddie. Now you're a true doctor. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> what are you doing with those underpants? Oh, I see. You want to do the laundry, but you don't know how to. Look, this washing machine has two drums. One for colour clothes and one for white clothes. That's right, Eddie. You mustn't mix your whites and colours. Otherwise, your whites will come out coloured. Come on, Eddie. Let's see. Where do this pant go? In the drum for whites or for colors? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but those are white pants, Eddie. They go with the white clothes. Uh, Eddie. Yes, I can see they're dirt. Uh -huh. But they are still white, so they go with the white clothes. 
<laughs> well done. Let's see what other clothes we have here. Yo, Trunks, Eddie. Let's see, where did this go, Eddie? With the wets or with the colors? <laughs> That's it, Eddie. Your colorful trunks go with the colors. Let's see, what about this shirt? That's it, Eddie. This Hawaiian shirt also goes with the colors. Oh, Eddie, what with these smelly socks? But aren't they mainly white? Yes, Eddie, put them in the washing machine right away. They stink. Let's see, let's get another piece of clothing. That's it, Eddie. The green and yellow cap goes with the colors. Aha! Uh -huh. What about these tracksuit buttons? You get in the hang of it, Eddie. Well, let's get the last piece of clothing. Your clown wig. Perfect, Eddie. See? It's very easy. And you guys, have you ever helped your parents to do the laundry? It's really fun. See you on our next video.